Thank you, Dr. Ellis. Good morning, everyone. The Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Welcome to Zoom worship. It is really dark outside, so if it looks grainy on my video, this is kind of the best I can get without turning on the overhead lights. Um, if I turn on the overhead lights, we'll be completely washed out. There are, in fact, lilies over my shoulders, but you can hardly hear, see them because they're in the dark corner of the room. Uh, just uh, very quick announcements uh, before we get underway. Um, nearly everyone picked up their lilies this morning. I had found two this morning marked for the Hinkles and one marked for the Harmons, and there was only one other left over. I think this is a record proportion of lilies collected. Uh, we may have to do it this way more often. No? No, we won't do it this way more often, but I'm very glad for each of you. I could see a couple of you are completely surrounded by lilies, and if I tried to do that, mine are behind me, because if they were in front of me, I would spend this whole service sneezing, and I will be getting them out of here as soon as worship is over. Well, I'll put those out on the front porch if there's anyone who missed theirs. We'll be glad to get them to you. Uh, there is an opportunity to wear Easter bonnets or hats. Uh, we'll do that actually after worship, and uh, there's a code word involved. Those of you who know what I'm talking about will know. I'll make it really clear for those of you who don't know the code word. We're looking forward to seeing those Easter hats after worship. The only other thing uh, is that at the beginning of worship, we are going to do a Thanksgiving for baptism. So if you've got a source of water near you and you'd like to run a cup or a bowl, uh, you can always remember your baptism with any water whatsoever. Um, I do not have a cup or bowl of water handy because I figured a computer and a guitar and a bowl of water were a bad mix. Um, but you all um, can have your own uh, remembrance of baptism later if you don't have water handy right now. We're going to begin worship on page two of your bulletins. If somehow you don't have a bulletin, I'm sure a couple of you um, missed your email or don't get the emails or you're joining us. I know folks are joining us from Tennessee and Pennsylvania and Kansas and Ohio this morning. Um, so if you do not have a worship folder, please contact Sister Jenny uh, by her email, by her phone, or by Carrier Pigeon, and she will do her best to get one to you this morning. We begin with the apostolic reading. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Alleluia, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed, alleluia. I'm not sure your neighbors heard that, so let's try that again. Alleluia, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed, alleluia. Joined to Christ in the waters of baptism, we are raised with him to new life. Let us give thanks for the gift of baptism. We give you thanks, O God, for the beginning you created us in your image and planted us in a well-watered garden. In the desert you promised pools of water for the parched, and you gave us water from the rock. When we did not know the way, you sent the good shepherd to lead us to still waters. At the cross you showered us from Jesus' wounded side, and on this day you shower us again with the water of life. We praise you for your salvation through water, for the water in our font, and for wa all water everywhere. Bathe us in your forgiveness, grace, and love. Satisfy the thirsty and give us the life only you can give. To you be given honor and praise through Jesus Christ our Lord, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. We'll now sing hymn number 382, Christ is Risen, Alleluia. Risen, hallelujah, risen, our victorious head. Sing his praises, hallelujah, 
Christ is risen from the dead. Gratefully our hearts adore him as his light once more appears. Bowing down in joy before him, rising up from griefs and tears. Christ is risen, hallelujah, risen, a victorious head. Sing his praises, hallelujah, Christ is risen from the dead. Christ is risen, all the sadness of our Lenten fast is o'er. Through the open gates of gladness, he returns to life once more. Death and hell before him bending, see him rise the victor now. Angels on his steps attending, glory round his wounded brow. Christ is risen, hallelujah, risen, our victorious head. Sing his praises, hallelujah, Christ is risen from the dead. Christ is risen, all oh, the sorrow that last he round him lay. Now has found the glorious morrow in the rising of today. See the grave its first fruits giving, springing up from holy ground. Christ was dead, but now is living. He was lost, but he is found. Christ is risen, alleluia, risen, a victorious head. Sing his praises, alleluia, Christ is risen from the dead. Christ is risen, henceforth never dead, for hell shall lies and throne. We are Christ in him forever, we have triumphed over all. All the doubting and dejection of our trembling hearts have ceased. Hail the day of resurrection, let us rise and keep up. Christ is risen, alleluia, risen, our victorious head. Sing his praises, alleluia, Christ is risen from the dead. Christ is risen, alleluia, risen, our victorious head. Sing his praises, alleluia. Christ is risen from the dead. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, you gave your only Son to suffer death on the cross for our redemption. And by his glorious resurrection, you delivered us from the power of death. Make us die every day to sin, that we may live with him forever in the joy of the resurrection. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. During the Easter season, um, instead of reading from the Old Testament or the Hebrew Bible, we turn to the Acts of the Apostles and hear uh, from the stories of the early church. From the 10th chapter of Acts. Peter began to speak to the people. He said, I truly understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation, anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know the message he sent to the people of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. That message spread throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John announced. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. How he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses to all that he did, both in Judea and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. 
but God raised him on the third day and allowed him to appear, not to all the people, but to us who were chosen by God as witnesses and who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him, that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Invite you to read portions of Psalm 118 with me in unison. Give thanks to the Lord, for the Lord is good. God's mercy endures forever. Let Israel now declare, God's mercy endures forever. The Lord is my strength and my song, and has become my salvation. Shouts of rejoicing and salvation echo in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord acts valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted, The right hand of the Lord acts valiantly. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord indeed punished me sorely, but did not hand me over to death. Open for me the gates of righteousness. I will enter them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. Here the righteous may enter. I give thanks to you. For you have answered me, and you have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Our second lesson is from the letter to the Colossians the third chapter. If you've been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I'd like to invite all the children who are out there somewhere across Zoom listening in to scoot in a little closer. I don't see my uh, kids on the screen right now. Let me see if I can, let's see here. I see some folks leaning in. Very good. I see Bryson leaning in. Very good. I see Anna leaning in. I see Elsa's leaning in. Thank you, Elsa. I see, I see the Kleps kids leaning in. There's my kids. I just had to scroll way through. They were not the first to log in this morning. All right. Well, I'll look at you guys while I spend a couple moments talking especially to you. Good morning, guys. It's really good to see all of you this morning. Last night, we were all getting ready to go to bed, and in fact, the kids were in bed when those storms came through. Did any of you hear those storms, the thunder? In our house, when there's thunder like that, um, the kids come running because they don't like the sound of thunder. They like to be reassured um, that that thunder cannot hurt them. So we gathered at 10.30 last night. And I pulled up a video of an Easter vigil that was unlike any Easter vigil I've ever celebrated. Uh, Whenever I've celebrated Easter vigil, we've gotten all dressed up in our our white vestments and paraments, and we we light a little tiny fire, and we bring that flame into the sanctuary, and we listen to like 12 readings from the Bible. And uh, when we do it, the last few years, I've done it over at, uh, with my friends at Fellowship, and Comunidad Esperanza, and they usually have like a dozen people being baptized on the Easter Vigil, which is so much fun. And I've been grateful to be a part of that. But this vigil was nothing like any of those. This vigil was a vigil uh, where uh, it was uh, a little closer to a little closer to what I'm doing this morning, although I am dressed up in my vestments to try to set the mood. It was a uh, campfire, and it was uh, there was no guitar, but uh, the person leading it uh, was singing uh, the kind of songs that belong on guitar. 
um, some of my favorite songs like uh, the Arky Arky song uh, and the Hippo song and other good camp songs and connected those songs to the stories that we do read as a part of a traditional vigil, stories of the mighty acts of God. And given that it was pouring rain outside and thundering when we watched it, I couldn't help but be drawn to one particular story and an observation that pastor, Pastor Colleen, made about that story. That's the story of Noah when it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. And I started thinking about how uh, we were uh, just in for one night of rain, but we were all gathered together on our little futon. The baby slept through it, but the rest of us were all gathered together in the futon, wondering when the rain would stop. But we were also wondering when this isolation will stop. It hasn't yet been 40 days or 40 nights, but it sure feels like it, doesn't it? Since we've closed our doors and we've stayed mostly in our homes and we've been able to go outside and play, but not on playgrounds. We've been able to um, participate in school, but only over the internet like this. And we're wondering when will we be able to get back to something resembling normal? And I have no idea. But Pastor Colleen pointed out that that isolation that they experienced was even wilder than ours because some of us are, are kept at home with our couple of puppy dogs or a couple of kitty cats, right? But Noah had a full ark full of animals. And if you guys are Facebook friends with me or your parents are, um, you can find a way that you can fill your house with a whole ark full of animals on your smartphone, which is really fun. But even then, those animals don't have to eat. And those animals don't have to have, they don't have to be cleaned up after, right? So Noah was trapped in that ark. And you know about the 40 days and the 40 nights, but if you ever go back and read the whole story, and it's really long, but you'll see that even after it rained for 40 days and 40 nights, they didn't know when it was safe to go out. They sent out doves and a raven, and they kept waiting for some sign that the waters had receded. Well, guess what, friends? Over the next weeks or maybe months, we're not gonna send out doves or ravens, but our health officials are going to be looking for signs that it's safe for us to emerge from our houses and be able to interact in ways that feel more normal. I have no idea when that's going to be. We're gonna trust them to send out their doves and their ravens looking to bring back a branch that tells us it's safe to come together again. And we're gonna listen to them. But in the meanwhile, it's very good to remember that when the sun did come out, God showed God's sign that God would never destroy everything again. You and I will not be destroyed by this. Because Jesus lives, we also shall live. And the rainbow is a sign of that. So think of that the next time you see a rainbow, whether one comes out after these rain clouds or not, remember the sign of the rainbow. Thank you, guys. The Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, the 28th chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb, and suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descending from heaven came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, his clothing white as snow, for fear of him. The guard shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you're looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised, as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then, he, then go quickly and tell his disciples, He has been raised from the dead. Indeed, he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly, Jesus met them and said, Greetings! They came to him, took a hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, 
do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. I have some colleagues who who don't preach a sermon on Easter, who don't share a message because they say, if there's any reading that preaches itself, it should be this good news. The Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. But I do want to say a few things because as I listened to our readings this morning and as I listened to myself singing some of my favorite hymns, that first one is my favorite Easter hymn. I couldn't help but notice some ironies, particularly at the end of that opening hymn where it says, all the doubting and dejection of our trembling hearts have ceased. Well, maybe on an ordinary Easter, as if there is such a thing as an ordinary Easter, Maybe on one of those Easter's, all the doubting and dejection of our trembling hearts have ceased. But folks, the trembling in my heart has not ceased completely since this all began. I was really anxious when I first saw all this coming a few weeks ago. And then we started settling into some patterns, and I started to get nervous again. Now, instead of nervous about the fact that we can't come together, I'm nervous about how it is we will come back together. And I don't know about you, but all this time uh, in solitude and with my family, um, I'm getting better sleep than I have in a long time. But that also means, I, I don't know about you, but I remember my dreams better when I'm getting lots of sleep. And so I have had some wackadoodle dreams lately, folks. Um, just a couple nights ago, I was dreaming about a plague of locusts. I kid you not, uh, grasshoppers just popping up everywhere. Now, fortunately, I am not the sort of person who, uh, whose dreams tend to come true. Um, and fortunately, I woke up before the Arkansas River uh, turned to blood um, or the angel of death could pass nearby us. But um, that definitely caught my attention. And I definitely woke up with my heart racing a little more than usual. Um, and maybe you've had those kind of dreams. I hope you haven't. But I bet you are filled with a lot less certainty a lot more doubt, and I bet on this particular morning, even though I'm, I'm clicking through and I'm seeing all of you on my screen, um, those, uh, those of you who have your video turned on, um, I don't have the gallery view on so that we get a nice uh, recording of just me, but I can see you all. Thank you for turning on your videos. Um, it's really good to see you this morning. I bet that you have, uh, you would much rather be seeing each other in person right now, and I would bet that uh, even the, the bright light of the resurrection has not dispelled all the doubt and the gloom and the je dejection. And yet, um, thank you for joining me with me in these beautiful words. Christ has risen, alleluia, risen our victorious head, and so we sing his praises because it's all we know how to do on Easter morning. And then, we hear these words from the psalm, familiar words. This was, uh, this was another uh, camp or Sunday school style song that I learned when I was a kid. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, let us rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made, let us rejoice and be glad in it. But then I learned a funny thing in, in seminary, that as, as beautiful and as fun and as important as that song is, that actually that's, that translation of the psalm underplays um, the majesty and the wonder of those two lines. It's not just that this is the day that the Lord has made. We know that the Lord has made the whole world, the whole, the whole cosmos and everything in it, and is remaking it but indeed this is the day that the lord has acted would be an even better translation this is the day that the lord has acted i don't know about you but if this is the lord's idea of how to act i think he needs to go back to remedial school for how to do things 
because this is definitely not my ideal kind of Easter. We still have lilies, I'm still wearing white, I'm still able to gather with all you, but this is definitely not the way I wanna do it. And I wanna to say to God that if this is your idea of how to act, try again, Lord. But then before that, we hear that the Lord is good. The Lord's mercy endures forever. The right hand of the Lord has acted valiantly. And most importantly, while we fear this strange invisible hand that is going among us and is taking lives of those whom we love, I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord, not just alive, but living for the praise of God's glory. And I'm indebted to uh, our bishop who's joined us this morning for this lob last observation. Um, so you can mute me now and just go read his morning devotion for this part. But there's one final beautiful irony um, in the gospel. There's this scene of uh, a messenger of God who descends from heaven and comes and rolls back this stone that no living mortal could possibly move on their own, which was the idea. You, you didn't want anyone to roll the stone away prematurely. And then he sits on it like, like a little imp. I could just see one of my kids, you know, so proud of themselves. Look what I did, just sitting on the stone, kicking his legs. But his appearance was like lightning. I have no way to compute what that means, that this messenger of God was like lightning. His clothing was white as snow, like this robe I'm wearing. And for fear of him, understandably, the guards shook. They became like dead men. There's supposed to be a dead man in the tomb, but the living men outside the tomb are now like dead men. But the women who had gathered at the tomb the messenger addresses them and says, do not be afraid. <laughs> yeah, right. When my kids were quaking at the thunder last night, come on kids, do not be afraid. They were still trembling. We could tell them that thunder can't hurt you. We could tell them the lightning is just a flash of light and it's not inside the house. But they were still trembling with fear and I'm sure the women here, it's like trying to tell someone to calm down. Cal calm down. How well does that work in your experience? But then these words, simple words, plain words, maybe the only words that really need to be spoken this morning. Come see the place where Jesus lay, then go quickly and tell the others. He has been raised from the dead, indeed is going ahead of you to Galilee, and there you will see him. So they left the tomb quickly, still with great fear, but also with great joy. I don't know about you, but that's the kind of morning I'm having, filled with questions and doubts and uncertainties about the future, but also filled with great joy at these words. The Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. Amen. Now we're going to sing hymn number 365. I've been pitching these hymns down as far as I can because I'm here sitting rather than standing. And so I can't sing as high, but I can't figure out a good way to pitch this one down. So you're just gonna have to put up with me straining my voice on this one. Jesus Christ is risen today. Jesus 
Christ is risen today. Ah, ha, 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 hallelujah. Our triumphant holy day. Ah, ha, 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 hallelujah. Who did once upon the cross. Ah, ha, 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 hallelujah. Suffer to redeem our loss. Hallelujah. Hymns of praise, then let us sing. Hallelujah. Unto Christ our heavenly King. Hallelujah. Who endured the cross and grief. Hallelujah. Sinners to redeem and save. Alleluia. What the pains which he endured. Alleluia. Our salvation have procured. Alleluia. Now above the sky he's king. Ah, hallelujah, where the angels ever sing, ah, hallelujah. Sing we to our God above, ah, hallelujah, praise eternal as his love, With these next words, we join ourselves to the church, which was formed almost 2,000 years ago by those women who saw the empty tomb. The words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we begin our prayer time, I invite you to share um, names of folks or general requests in our chat window. For those of you who are on computers or other um, smart devices, for those of you who um, don't have the chat window or can't find it, you're welcome to call the church office or email Sarah at onejoylutheran at sbcglobal.net. Um, Sarah's going to take Easter Monday off, bless her, and I am too, um, so she'll be in the office to check those messages or to receive your phone calls on Tuesday from 9 to 2. Turning our hearts to God who is gracious and merciful, we pray for the church, the world, and all who are in need. God of resurrection from the very beginning, you give the church the gift of women as your witnesses, as preachers, teachers, and leaders. 
especially our presiding Bishop Elizabeth and our deacon, Sister Jenny, and all of the women on our church council and who serve as team leaders. Open our ears to their proclamation this day and always. Hear us, O oh God, your mercy is great. All your creation praises you. The earth hums, the seas pulse, the stars shine and the galaxies whirl in glorious harmonies to honor you. Let us hear and blend our voices in song. Lord, in your mercy. Hear us, O oh God, your mercy is great. The countries of the world experience disunity and conflict. We set our minds on fear and greed rather than on your rule of justice and steadfast love. Build up all countries on your cornerstone of peace. Hear us, O oh God, your mercy is great. We still weep with those who weep. We mourn with those who mourn. Cradle the fearful, the suffering, and the dying, especially those who are dying and cannot have their families by their side at this time. Assuring them all of your loving presence. Hear us, O oh God, your mercy is great. Bless the creative and helpful service of all worship leaders this day. Musicians, ushers, greeters, worship assistants, preachers, readers, and all others who provide welcome in hospitality in our midst. Hear us, O oh God, your mercy is great. Risen Lord, you went ahead of us into the grave and defeated the powers of evil. We remember those who have died before us. Inspire us to live our lives in this resurrection hope and draw us to you in our final days. Hear us, O oh God, your mercy is great. With bold confidence in your love, Almighty God, we place all for whom we pray into your eternal care. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. All right, I'm going to unmute you all in just a few moments, and we'll have a wild cacophonous echoing, uh, probably a little feedback in there too, a multitude of voices greeting one another. The peace of Christ be with you always. Three, two, one. Thank you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Rebecca and Dan. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. God bless you all. Peace be with you. Peace with you, everyone. All right, get your final pieces in in three, two. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, in just a moment, I'm going to turn things over to Dr. Alice, who's going to offer some offertory music for us. Several of you have been taking advantage of our online giving. You can find that on our website. There's also directions in our bulletin. Um, we give thanks for all of you who are able to give. We also know that some of you are going to be facing unemployment and other stresses, and we don't want this to be a burden on you. Please, if you're in that position, know that there are others who are trying to step up, even as you have to step back. We give thanks for all of you who are able to give cheerfully and freely of what God has first given you. Dr. Alice?
Thank you, Dr. Ellis. Together, let us pray. Blessed are you, O God, maker of all things. Through your goodness, you have blessed us with these gifts, ourselves, our time, and our possessions. Use us and what we have gathered in healing the world with your love. Through the one who gave himself for us, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Praise and thanks to you, holy God, for by your word you made all things and are making all things new. In every time and place you speak light into darkness, call forth beauty from chaos and bring new life into being. For your word of life, O God, we give you thanks and praise. By your word you call your people Israel to remember and tell of your wonderful gifts, freedom from captivity, water on the desert journey, a pathway home from exile, wisdom for life with you. For your word of life, O God, we give you thanks and praise. Through Jesus, your word made flesh, you speak to us and call us to witness. Forgiveness through the cross, life to those entombed by death, the way of your self-giving love. For your word of life, O God, we give you thanks and praise. Send your spirit of truth, O God. Rekindle your gifts within us. Renew our faith, increase our hope, and deepen our love for the sake of a world in need. Faithful to your word, O God, draw near to all who call on you through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory forever. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now may the one who brought forth Jesus from the dead raise you to new life fill you with hope, and turn your mourning into dancing. May Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless you now and forever. Amen. We're going to close worship with hymn number 392, Alleluia, Sing to Jesus. Hallelujah, sing to Jesus, he is the center, he is the truth. Hallelujah, he is the triumph, he is the victory of we alone. Are the songs of peaceful Zion, thunder like a mighty flood. Jesus, out of every nation, has redeemed us by his blood. Alleluia, not as orphans are we left in sorrow now. Alleluia, he is near us, faith believes nor questions now. Though the clouds from sight received him, when the forty days were over, shall our hearts forget his promise, I am with you evermore. Alleluia, bread of heaven, here on earth, our food, our sin. Alleluia, hear the sinful plea to you from day to day. Intercessor, friend of sinners, first redeemer, hear our plea. Where the songs of all the sinless sweep across the crystal sea. All 
Hallelujah, King eternal, Lord omnipotent, we go. Alleluia, born of Mary, earth your footstool, heaven your throne. As within the veil you entered, robed in flesh, our great high priest. He here on earth, both priest and victim, in the Eucharistic feast. Hallelujah, sing to Jesus, he is the scepter, he is the throne. Alleluia, is the triumph, he is the victory alone. Hark the songs of peaceful Zion, thunder like a mighty flood. Jesus, house of every nation, has redeemed us by his blood. Jesus, the hold of every nation, has redeemed us by his blood. Christ is risen, just as he said. Go in peace, share the good news. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia.